guys, welcome to Classic Sitcom Spacks and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on Gunsmoke. And now Ken Curtis, who played Festus, um, refused to come back for the reunion movie over two things. What were those things? Let's see. Gunsmoke made Ken Curtis... Festus Hagen, a series regular, to replace Dennis Weaver's beloved Chester Good, after he left to pursue other acting opportunities. However, Curtis refused to return for the first made-for-TV Gunsmoke movie after his 20th season run because of a couple of serious disagreements with the producer. Gunsmoke met its end in CB on CBS in 1975 after they were canceled uh, that in the cast and crew they didn't see it coming. Uh, the network returned to the world back to Dodge City in 87 with the first made-for-TV movie uh, from the series, and it was called Return to Dodge. Matt Dillon, actor James Arnaz, and Miss Kitty Russell was played by Anna Amanda Blake. Both came back. Story follows. Will Mannon, played by Steve Forrest, who seeks revenge on those who were responsible for sending him to prison, putting Matt and Kitty in his crosshairs. It was a big deal for longtime Gunsmoke fans who missed the show. Uh, James Arnest starred in all 20 seasons of the show, but Blake hadn't been on the show since uh, la the, season, the season before the last, the 19th season. Uh, Doc Adams, actor Milburn Stone, didn't make a return because he had passed away in 1980. Decision makers behind Gunsmoke, the return to Dodge, wanted to see more familiar faces, including Curtis, reclaim their legendary roles. However, there was a battle of politics going on behind the scenes that made it impossible. The initial story was that it was all about money, but according to David R. Greenland's book, The Gunsmoke Chronicles, A New History of Television Greatest Western, uh, that wasn't the only thing. He wanted twice what Amanda's getting, producer John Mantley said. I said, Ken, I can't do that. And he said, when well, I'm not coming. And that's how it ended. However, that wasn't the only problem. Curtis embraced Jim Byrne's original script, but the production was making some changes to it. The actor hated the changes and refused to come back with any of the changes made. Got so heated, he told Mantley never to call him again. Greenland noted that Curtis wasn't the only, only Gunsmoke cast member to draw issues with the script. Arnaz thought Earl Holloman's Jake Flagg overshadowed Matt. Curtis didn't return for Gunsmoke Return to Dodge, uh, finding other roles aside from Festus. Uh, for example, he played a retired police detective on NBC's In the Heat of the Night and lent his voice to Disney's 1973 animated film Robin Hood. CBS brought another four uh, made-for-TV Gunsmoke movies uh, until the ratings started to decline. Arnez returned as Matt for all the films. Blake only starred in Return to Dodge. The remainder of them were subtitled The Last Apache, To the Last Man, One Man's Justice, and The Long Ride. You know what? I can't much blame him. Uh, I'd say he made his mark, he made his fortune, and he can make his own choices. Sounds reasonable to me. Um, plus, he's 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 already done everything, you know. It's 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 uh, is what it is. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock uh, and country music facts and trivia. Please head on over there and check it out and subscribe. Today's is kind of different. It's on shock rocker. Uh, Alice Cooper and his Christianity talks about it. Um, so that's people talking. Uh, and that's all I have for you. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.